What's going on guys? Track 7. Yes, time and a word. This is Astral Traveler. Getting down to it on this album. <laughs> Let's do it. Bam. Hmm. Like a groove track. That would be interesting. If they just like dropped into some weird heavy funk right here. I wouldn't call this weird heavy funk. Maybe the weird part, <laughs> but I would not say this is a heavy funk bass line. They have a lot of this actually where like, the drums just broke down right there, right? That he's leaving more room in like the verses. He's done that a few times on this album already, actually. Where, where he'll just be like on a high hat, things like that. Oh, we got some effects on the voice here. It's all warbly. Like in and out, like a tremolo or something. This kind of stuff kind of reminds me of like Chick Corea. They just got out of the 60s, right? I think it's gonna go on forever.
sound way better here. I don't know what it was, it was like the first track, the drums just sounded... I like the effect on the vocals. I feel like, so when it comes to stuff like that, I think it's cool to experiment and sometimes you have to, like I wonder how that process went. What I would do is I would probably put a bunch of different things on the vocals to see what kind of worked best. I mean, maybe they did that and they're like, this is what works best. This is what we like the best and this is what we want and okay, there it is. I'm not as crazy about it. I don't know if there's something that would be better. Maybe a flange would be better. Flanger would be better on the vocals here. You know, because I get it. It's Astral Traveler. They're trying to be more like trippy about it and that kind of thing. Maybe they thought flanger is just used, you know, like we don't want, you know, we, let's try something different. Let's do a tremolo. I don't know. I don't know. I... I I feel like it took away from it more than it added to it. That's my opinion. I really like the drums on this track. Yeah, the rhythmic stuff at the end. That was cool. It was cool. You know, again, Prague, excursions. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening, guys. It's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's cool. I think that there are other tracks on the record that I like better, but I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. It's more, you know, in the future what tracks am I, do I think I would come back to and want to listen to? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. And do I picture this being one of them? Maybe, maybe not. The Prophet being one of them? Maybe not. Clear Days being one of them? Maybe not. Even though I liked all those, Clear Days was super nice, right? Nice little piece. The Prophet was cool. Astral Traveler was cool. It's cool, right? I like the whole first side. I feel like I, so far, see, that's the thing. Because it's not like, there's nothing that they've played thus far that I don't like. That I'm just like, no, this is a no. This is no, mm, not really into this. That's not happening yet. It's just not. It's kind of like, I'm just thinking about, okay, they got a deep discography. When you get in the future and all these are in the past, what am I going to want to listen to? Am I going to want to listen to Here Again or What You're Doing? No. I'm not. I'm going to want to listen to Working Man, and that's it. Throw the rest of the album out. <laughs> you know, that's that's kind of how I'm looking at this. I'm kind of like, or what's another good example for you Rush people? What's another good example? Another good example would be, uh, I think I'm going bald, or Making Memories, or Best I Can. It's like, am I going to want to be hearing those tracks? No. Probably, probably not going to go back to them. They're not bad. You know, okay, it's fine. I don't dislike them, but I already know that there's more exciting tracks that I'd rather, that are more special to me, you know, that, that are just more standout. Are these standout? I, and that's the thing that's going to happen when you have a discography that's just freaking massive. That's just going to happen. It's normal. You know, it's normal. You're going to have standout tracks. I don't see these as standout tracks. I see them as totally fine. Great. I mean, even just here, just... Just even as it stands, you know, on Spotify over here, their most popular tracks on this album are No Opportunity Necessary, No Experience Needed, Then, Then by far is is the most popular one, which I like that one. I thought that that one was really cool. And Time and a Word. That's it. Those are like the, the tracks that have over a million plays on this album. Everything has under a million plays. I thought Sweet Dreams was really nice. That one hasn't even broken a million. Almost. It's getting there, but that's kind of what I mean. Like, what are the standout tracks? Is this a standout track? And I don't have to also agree with that. 
you know, you know how I am. I, I don't care what people say. If I love it, I love it and I'm all in. You know, if I don't like it and everybody else loves it, I don't care. I don't like it, <laughs> right? This is my world I'm living in. It matters more to me. This is more just an interesting discussion, that's all. I'm not trying to hate or any of that kind of thing at all. I'm just being nuanced, right? I think it's cool. I like the tracks. I see where they're going. They're, they're, they're starting to space out, right? They're starting to space out and they're starting to get, um, you know, just more adventurous, really more adventurous. And it's cool because it's, we already know it's going to lead to some amazing stuff. Cool. The other thing that I noticed, uh, that I have been noticing is, you know, I'm looking at the album cover cause it's on here, right? When I'm playing the, when I'm playing it and yes, it looks like that bandana print that's super popular, right? That it, they're doing that like all over bandana print. It's like probably old now, but you know, however many years ago, one, two, three, four, five years, you know, it's like everybody's wearing like bandana print shirts, bandana print pants, bandana print, you know, everything bandana print. And their Yes logo is looks bandana print <laughs> 1970. Pretty cool. All right. Up next, we're closing out the album. Time and a word. I'll catch you then. Later.